channel. So today is Sunday and you guys know I have a whole video on how I meal plan and everything but on my Instagram you guys always say how much you love when I do my little meal menus and like what items you need for everything and you guys are always asking for grocery hauls so I thought why not start a new series on my channel one it'll keep me more consistent hopefully and two i know you guys really love these so i want to give you guys what you want so welcome to my new series setup sunday so what setup sunday is is setting yourself up for a successful week so this might not be for everybody but this is just what really helped me on my journey is setting a plan of meals for the week so i do it week by week and that's just what helps me keeping it on a slightly smaller scale um so I do grocery shop on a weekly basis and I plan my dinners for what I'm gonna have each day. And sometimes those meals will switch from like Monday to Wednesday, just depending on like what sounds better to me. But for the most part, I have a set um, set of meals for the week. So I will link my how I meal plan video as well if you wanna go watch that to kind of get like a basis of what I do, but I'll show you guys in this too. So I'll pick what meals I want for each day and then I'll go through um, and write what I need for each meal and then see what I already have in my pantry and what I need to shop for and then that I'll write out my grocery list go grocery shopping and then I'll be completely set up for the week I'll have everything I need in the house and I have a plan for each day So I'm not as likely to be like oh I have nothing to eat So I'm just gonna eat out and how many of you guys have done that? I mean, I know I've literally done that so many times if so having a plan is truly such an important thing for success in my opinion i feel like when you don't have a plan it's kind of more you know you just throw your hands up in the air like oh i'll just eat whatever and then you're way more likely to like go get fast food or something so i thought that this would be a good series because i know you guys like seeing this so what i'm gonna do is show you the foods that i'm having this week and you guys know i do rotate the same meals um and then my lunch i eat the same thing every day so this is more for dinners and then i'll show you like my snacks and stuff um, and then maybe if I end up ever switching it up for lunches, I'll obviously do a video on that But I'm gonna show you guys what I'm having for dinner this week each day And then I'm gonna show you a grocery haul and all that stuff So I don't know I hope you guys like this and I would love to do this every Sunday Um to maybe help some of you guys out give you some new ideas Um, like I said, I do eat the same things, but I will try to like switch it up each week and everything so yeah, I'm excited for this. So I'm going to place my grocery order. I'm going to show you guys how I wrote everything out um, and how I see like what I need from the store. I will also show you how much I'm spending um, in the week. So I probably will do Instacart um, or Walmart delivery and I'll show you guys what I do and what I get. Okay, so first I'm just gonna show you guys how I write everything out. So I just use my notes, but obviously you could like write it down or whatever works best for you. So. Here is my plan for the week. So tomorrow we're going to have crock pot Italian chicken and we're also going to have that Tuesday because this does make a lot and my husband's on his own little like meal plan thing right now so he probably won't be eating it. He's just been eating ground turkey and rice. <laughs> um, so it'll definitely be leftover. So I'm going to have that on Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday I'm going to have taco pie. Thursday copycat KFC bowls. Friday two ingredient dough pizza. Saturday cheesy chicken broccoli casserole and then chili on Sunday So I have everything written out and like I said, let's say Wednesday comes around and I'm like, ooh Pizza sounds really good. I'll switch the two so um, I'm not like super strict with it I just kind of make sure I have at least something for every day planned and then if I want to switch them around I totally do and then I have my snacks here of what I normally snack on and the green check mark is what I already have in the house. So I wrote all my snacks down and I marked what I do and don't have already in the house. So the red exclamation point is what I need to get at the store. So I have Cleo bars, some more of my favorite pretzels. Um, I have queso and hummus already. I need more carrots. I have cucumber, laughing cow cheese. I need some more pepperoni, some more Cape Cod chips, and um, I have apples and peanut butter. And then my lunch is always the same, the Felicia combo with the sweet potato, eggs, cottage cheese. I have everything for that already, so I just put a green check. And then I wrote out each meal, so Italian chicken and what ingredients I need, taco pie, KFC bowls, two ingredient pizza. So as you can see, I have a lot of stuff here. Um, so I just need to get some low-fat cream cheese, some chicken, um, peas. I have everything I need for taco pie. Same for KFC bowls and pizza. 
And then I do need to pick up some more light mayonnaise. And then I do need some more tomato sauce. So I'm using tomato sauce for the taco pie and the chili. Um, so I won't have enough for both. So I'm going to get some, probably just like one or two more cans. And then down here I have the list of everything that I need. So I added some Pirate's Booty on there. Um, I like those little packs. I'm going to have to shop at a couple different stores, I think, um, to get everything that I want. So I'll show you guys everything I end up getting and I might add a couple extra things on here if I see like a snack that looks good or something that I like um, but that's it you guys it's literally so simple and you could totally do this in your reminders app too where you can like check things off but this is just what works for me now let's get grocery shopping okay guys so here's a little peek at everything I got from the grocery store so I went to well I got instacart uh, Costco and Meyer, and then I still have to run to Walmart myself um, whenever Jack's wakes up so I'll show you what I get from there as well but I'll start with Costco so I got these wisp um, cheese crisps cheese crisps Wow. Um, so there's seven Parmesan, seven cheddar. There are three points per bag. The cheddar might be a little more because there are a couple more calories. I'll double check on that. But three points per bag. They're so good. They're literally just like cheese. I don't know. They're like cheese crisps. Like they're just, they're really good. Um, and then I got Pirate's Booty. Weston already broke into that. He loves them. They are well, two points per bag. Um, they're like little white cheddar puffs. And then cheese it's for Weston and my husband. And then I found these good pops at Costco orange cream good pops they are vegan and like gluten free so um, I don't know how they're gonna taste they are dairy free so I will let you know but they are four points for one so I will let you guys know how these are I might actually try one right now so I'll let you know and then I picked up some more premier protein that I really needed um, I so this will probably shoot up the bill <laughs> once I tell you guys the price and stuff because these are like pricey and like I just stock up every once in a while on those you guys know I drink them every morning for my breakfast so I got four cases of those and then at Meyer, I got the small bags of the Cape Cod kettle chips the big bag is just too dangerous for me <laughs> um, I really like like prepackaged snacks so um, I mean if you can't tell so so I got these they are four points per bag and they're seriously the best chips ever ever so good and then I got some bananas I got some pepperoni to make the little cucumber snack with the cucumber laughing cow and pepperoni and then I found this it's the WW um, like light cream cheese spread it is only one point per tablespoon so two points for two tablespoons um, I'm really excited because I got some bagels as you can see over there and I want to start having like a bagel with cream cheese every morning because it's literally my favorite thing and you guys know I'm in maintenance now I'm just trying to like live my life and um, I don't know I just I love bagels and cream cheese so I'm gonna eat them so um, uh, one of those bagels I'll talk about is six points and then this would be two points for two tablespoons plus my coffee is just ten and normally I have my coffee and my healthy eating bar which ends up being nine total so basically the same so I, I'll switch it up every few days um but yeah I'm really excited about this and then I got some uh, lower fat cream cheese for the uh, crock pot Italian chicken so these are the bagels that I got they're just the Meyer brand they're six points per bagel, which a regular Thomas bagel is like um, eight, I believe. I wanted to get the Dave's Killer Bread plain bagels, which are seven points, and they're like, they're just better for you. Um, but they didn't have any, so they um, subbed them for this, which is fine. I'll, hopefully, I'll get my hands on the Dave's one soon. And then I just have some spinach for my sandwiches. I have some more tomato sauce for the taco pie and the chili and all of that. And then I just have some oven roasted turkey breast. It is 99% fat free, so I'll count this as zero points. And then I have a regular chicken breast for the crock pot Italian chicken. And then peas because I like to mix this with my Italian chicken and like pasta and that is it you guys so I didn't have to get a ton this time because I have a lot of stuff like I have ground beef and all that stuff so I do have to run to Walmart and get a couple more things so whenever I get that stuff I will hop on here and show you guys okay so I'm about to try one of these the orange and cream I am a sucker for orange cream sickle stuff orange and cream like oh my gosh I love this kind of stuff so I'm hoping this is good let's try it oh my god oh my god can you guys see this okay so this was not focusing over there but oh my freaking gosh you guys this is amazing like for four points this is my new go-to treat like wow if you love orange cream stuff you need this in your life like 
holy freaking moly i'm actually about to take a picture and post this on instagram i'm shook this is so good definitely 10 out of 10 recommend okay so we just made a quick trip to walmart i'm going to show you guys what i got so i did pick up some more uh fat free cheddar i like to use the reduced fat for meyer but they were out so i got this for taco pie and cheesy broccoli casserole got some light mayonnaise for the casserole and my husband's been using this for tuna and then I did find the Dave's Killer Bread Bagels. So these are one more point than the other ones that I got, which I'll just make my husband eat those. Um, but they're just like, they have better ingredients. Like they're just, I don't know, they're just better. So they have more protein and stuff. So I made sure I picked up those. And then this is my favorite bread lately. It is four points per slice, which is a lot, but the slices are huge. And this is what Jack has been eating too. So. Um, I just eat it as well now and I love it for my sandwiches. The bread is so soft and just bomb and I'm not a wheat bread kind of girl. I mean, I normally like straight up white bread, um, the lowest point white bread you can find, but I've just been loving this and like I said, I am breastfeeding and I'm in maintenance so I do have extra points. So um, that's what I got. I picked up two more bags of my favorite pretzels. These are so good, you guys. Literally my newest obsession. And then, um, this wasn't on my list because I do have these already, but they have been sold out in my area. So last time I went, I stocked up on them and they last a long time in the fridge and then you can freeze them as well. So I just grabbed two more because they had them and I didn't want to like miss out. So, um, I grabbed two of those. So that is everything that I got from Walmart. level in my pantry um this is just like all my stuff so i have some weight watchers ice cinnamon puffs these have been my favorite for literally since i started weight watchers they're so good and then i have some of these little cheddar squares i think these are two or three points um i have some of the cheddar bunnies i have those cape cod chips the pre-portioned ones i have fit snacks these are three points i have the pirate's booty for two points I have some of the pretzel crisps in here if I want to just grab some. I have Skinny Pop popcorn. I have the Wisp cheese thingies. And then if I need to like use up a lot of points or something a day, I have these lactation cookies. These are, I think, 10 or 11 points. They're so good. They're literally so good. So this is my little snack basket. And then of course I have like my snacks in the fridge and stuff. I have my premieres in there and then I have my Alani new energy drinks in here. Um, these really help me just with obviously energy, but I like the carbonation. I just like it like with a snack in between meals. Um, the carbonation just like fills me up and they're super good and give me obviously really good energy. Okay guys, so that is going to end this video. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm not really sure how it's going to all come together. I literally filmed this today and it's going to go up tonight. I'm going to, I'm giving Jack's bath right now and then I'm going to spend the rest of the night editing this in the bathtub um so hopefully i can get it up really soon it'll be like record speed um but i'm really excited and i'm excited for this series and hopefully you guys like it i don't know let me know give me some feedback in the comments if you want me to continue this like every week or every other week or i don't know we'll see no, but i hope you guys like it i have so many videos coming you guys i have a what to eat in a day already edited and uploaded it's just privated my buff bunny collection video i'm editing like crazy right now for the boss launch I have a vlog I have to edit. Weston's first day of school is tomorrow. I'm gonna vlog. Me and Shay are gonna do a taste test video of some hyped like food products that you guys like suggested. 
and yeah I'm just like really excited so I'm excited for this channel and to hopefully be more consistent here and I love you guys so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one mm -hmm.